Alright guys, so the next thing we have to do is download Android Studio. Now, the website is most likely going to change because they always do. However, if you just type in download Android Studio, it's always going to be the first thing that pops up. So click this, and of course, this is the program that allows you to write Android applications. Now, the cool thing about this is that unlike the old program that you used to use, this was made just for writing Android apps and it has everything you need built in. So this is the program where we actually write the code and this is the program where all these little emulators which are pretty much like virtual phones that you can test on those are built into the entire um, like layout designer and I'll teach you guys how to use that later on but it's basically um, a graphical um, way to lay out your Android apps that's built in as well it's incredibly awesome incredibly cool so let's go ahead and get started so of course click that agree to whatever let me read this real quick oh pretty cool alright download this and it's actually probably gonna take a little bit to download because it's almost a gigabyte it might be a gigabyte by the time you download it but anyways um, I'll come back to you guys when this is done alright so it took a while but I finally have it download this executable file right here and I want to mention this real quick before I move on if anyone was lazy and decided to skip my last tutorial what we did is we set up the JDK to be compatible with Android Studio so if you did do that and skip everything then follow this direction right here but for those of you guys who stuck with me then you guys are good to go because we already did that step so anyways, actually I'm going to close out of that. We don't need this browser anymore. However, if we go to our downloaded files, then we see that we now have this Android Studio bundle. So this, of course, is the installer. So double click that. All right, so anything that pops up, just say yes. We trust them. We trust Google. Next, and leave pretty much you're gonna leave all of these as uh, the default agree agree um, do I want to install the default location yes recommended looks good that looks good as well alright so it says it is complete installation believe setup was completed successfully sweet go ahead and click next and I actually don't want to start this up right yet because what I want to do is I'm going to go to my start menu right here and I'm going to go to all programs and now we can see after we have everything downloaded and installed we're going to have a folder called Android Studio so if I click that I'm going to see this Android Studio program I'm going to right click it and send it to desktop so that way I have a um, Android Studio icon on my desktop because we're going to be using it a lot now. So the first time I open this, I'm going to right click and we're going to choose run as administrator. Now the very first time you open it, this thing is going to pop up right here and it's going to download all the extra components that it needs. But don't worry, this is only a one time thing the very first time to set everything up. Alright, so all those additional components look like everything is good to go so click finish alright so this is the welcome screen to Android Studio from here what we can do is we can actually start a brand new project however before we get started there is one last thing that we need to do and this isn't absolutely necessary but it's gonna save you guys a ton of headaches in the future if you go down to configure right here you're gonna see something called SDK manager and if this is grayed out or you can't select it for some reason make sure that you close out of this and right click and run as administrator and then it's going to be be available so anyways click this right here and what's going to happen is you're going to have a new pop-up window that appears now this basically allows you to download additional packages or additional code that you're going to use whenever you're developing apps as you can see it says install nine packages and the ones that are checked are actually the ones that we're gonna to want to install so if you click this button right here and of course we need to accept the license and install then what it's gonna do is it's gonna install these additional packages alright guys so once you have all the optional packages installed what you can do is just close out of Android 
SDK manager and it's also a better idea to close the Android Studio altogether and now right click it and run it as administrator to open it again and the reason that you want to do this is because whenever you open it this time you want to make sure that Android Studio is aware of all the updated packages so that's why we closed out and opened it again so it doesn't have anything weird stored in its cache or memory or anything so now we are finally done installing everything and setting everything up we are ready to start making our first Android project